energy. It's central to our way of life and the driving force for many of the 20th century's greatest advances. Travel, communication, labor saving in the home. Thanks to massive improvements in energy supply over the last hundred years, these and other breakthroughs are reality, not dreams. With energy use expected to double by 2050, what transformations lie ahead? Shell uses scenarios to explore the future. Our scenarios are not mechanical forecasts. They recognize that people hold beliefs and make choices that can lead down different paths. They reveal different possible futures that are plausible and challenging. Our latest energy scenarios look at the world in the next half century. We believe we are entering an era of revolutionary transitions. How will the world deal with them? Three hard truths are driving the transitions. There is a surge in energy use. Traditional energy sources are struggling to keep up with demand and rising emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are affecting levels of climate stress. We look at the choices these truths force people to consider through two different scenarios. The world of scramble and the world of blueprints. Both describe plausible, possible futures. In the scramble world, Events outpace actions. Security of energy supply and fears of losing economic ground shape decision making. For the next 10 years, people from all walks of life join in the debate about energy and climate change. But no one seems truly wedded to action on a large scale. Governments generally choose solutions that are politically straightforward and local. They prefer to rely on indigenous energy sources. So coal makes a big comeback in some regions, despite its higher emissions. Drivers stay with liquid fuels. With oil becoming harder to find and produce, biofuel use grows rapidly. Energy efficiency improves only gradually. Trading in emissions credits remains patchy and ineffective. Without a meaningful price, business lacks direction for technology investments to improve emissions management. In the scramble world, no one is prepared to change the status quo. Dealing with today's problem takes priority. By the 2020s, life has become volatile and uncertain. Energy availability is often tight. Severe weather events are blamed on a lack of previous action on climate change. The public cries out, and governments in the different regions respond in different ways, but without consistency or cohesion. Eventually, a new, more positive phase emerges. Enforced steps to reduce energy demand gradually have an effect. Background, individual, local efforts to promote renewable energy sources start to pay off. Renewables become well enough established and on a large enough scale to be competitive. Greenhouse gas emissions eventually begin to fall in the scramble world. But the earlier periods of economic volatility and the legacy of high emissions continue to have an impact. Because events outpaced actions, major work will still be needed after 2050 to achieve real sustainability. The world of blueprints shows what can happen when actions outpace events. Groups of seemingly disconnected people in California, venture capitalists, farmers, politicians, collaborate around opportunities for profitable action on climate change. Publics put international pressure on governments for change. Smart investments in modern facilities improve air pollution, energy efficiency, and greenhouse gas emissions all at the same time. This isn't a sudden outbreak of altruism. It's a recognition of shared interests, new opportunities for profitable business, and the benefits of taking action before it's forced by circumstances. In the world of blueprints, local actions spread and join up. Like the C40 Megacities Pact of mayors and others, experimenting and sharing good practices around carbon emissions, transport, and energy efficiency. 
During the next decade, the Blueprints world is diverse. Different parts use different approaches to promote energy efficiency and technology development. Some choose taxes, others use mandates. Some look for voluntary action by businesses and consumers. The most successful approaches spread. However, the diversity makes life difficult for investment. Pressure is created on local, national and international authorities to harmonize arrangements better. With harmonization comes widespread adoption of good efficiency practices. Trading schemes for carbon dioxide emissions rights begin to cover a critical mass of industry sectors in a critical mass of countries. The ball is rolling. Meanwhile, meaningful carbon dioxide pricing gives people and organizations more incentive to improve their energy efficiency and invest in technologies, paving the way to carbon capture and storage after 2020. Meanwhile, transport is becoming greener through growth in hybrids and later full electric vehicles. Biofuels play a role alongside traditional oil products. By the 2040s, the Blueprints world sees renewable energy technologies compete on price against fossil fuels, which are well managed with carbon capture and storage. So carbon emissions are well advanced on a downward path by mid-century. It's been a bumpy journey for some, but collaboration, successful carbon policies, and faster technology deployment have all contributed to a more sustainable world than Scramble. Our two scenarios are quite different, but they share some common ground. Both recognize that the status quo will not continue. Both envisage an era of revolutionary transitions in the energy scene. Both recognize that most of the world's people will keep pursuing the higher living standards made possible by energy consumption. Both play out over 50 years. They show the immense impact on our generation and the next of the choices people make today in response to global challenges. At Shell, both scenarios help us in making our choices and preparing to face uncertainty. Traditionally, Shell uses its scenarios without expressing a preference for one over another. However, in a break with tradition, in our view, from the two scenarios, the Blueprints outcomes offer the best hope for a sustainable future, whether or not they arise exactly in the way we describe. We are convinced they are possible with the right combination of policy, technology, and commitment from governments, industry, and society globally. But achieving them will not be easy, and time is short. We want to be part of developing the technologies the world needs. We want the guidance of new regulatory frameworks that will bring developments to a mass scale to make a difference. The Shell scenarios help us to make choices for our business. What choices do you face around energy demand and supply, contributing to social and economic development, and safeguarding the future of the planet? <laughs>